Candidates in the race for Virginia's second congressional district are making their final push for those final votes. Miles Hood explains. The final full day of campaigning was in full swing in the race between Democratic candidate Missy Cotter Smazel and Republican incumbent Jen Kiggins in Virginia's second congressional district. We caught up with Cotter Smazel in Virginia Beach's College Park neighborhood where she knocked on doors and laid out her priorities if elected. Their vote tomorrow can truly protect reproductive rights for generations, can truly protect voting rights for generations, and ensure that basic programs like funding for public education, like funding for Social Security and Medicare are protected. The race has garnered significant national attention as it's considered a toss up and could go a long way in determining which party controls the U.S. House in January. One voter said she's excited to take part in the voting process. I want to say that I was a part of this. Cotter Smiles' opponent, Republican Jen Kiggins, also worked to secure votes at a rally Saturday in Chesapeake, along with Virginia Attorney General Jason Meares and Governor Glenn Youngkin. Speaking with 13 News Now after that rally, Kiggins said she wanted voters to remember what matters to them when they cast their ballot Tuesday. We're excited for Tuesday, and I think the voters will be out this year. I think they're voting on things like the economy and the border, community safety, and our national security. So those things are on the ballot, and Virginians care about those issues, and I think we'll see that on Tuesday. Missy Cotter Schmazel says she hopes this last full day of campaigning will play an important role in getting a big push heading into Tuesday. And as for incumbent Jen Kiggins, well, she's hosting a rally tonight at Ballyhoo's. We'll have a crew there to get her remarks. In Virginia Beach, I'm Miles Hood for 13 News Now.